How do I even start this? Well, we can start with a thank you. Seriously, guys? I'm looking at this number right here, 503. <laughs> thank you all so, so much. You have no idea how I feel right now. I th well, some of you might, but, like, this is... This is insane. Like, this is the... I think this is the pinnacle of, like, feelings that I've had <laughs> toward a community. Like, you guys are just all so, so amazing. This is insane. Like, I never thought I would hit 500, 503 right now uh, subscribers in six months. And listening to Shady's video yesterday, if you haven't checked that out yet, I'll try to leave a description. Uh, a description a link in the description down below, but, like, after listening to that video and him saying that he spent over nine months under 250 subscribers, and the fact that Nappy spent two years under a thousand subscribers, just thinking about that, I, I don't want to get in over my head, but, like, to think, where is this channel going? Like, I can't stop it, I'm not in control of it, wherever it goes, it goes, and that's something to think, to take, from this is YouTube is very it's very luck based Shady said it himself but it's not you're not completely in control of what happens and you have to understand that with with things like this the number of people that end up following you and enjoying your content is only up to you to a certain extent you can do as much as you want you can make nice graphics, you can have great commentary, you can have a great personality, you can put out good content. I don't know if I said that already, but anyway. Um, you can put out things that people enjoy, and it doesn't matter in the end, you can still end up with only 100 subscribers. You have to get lucky. People have to notice you, and people have to like you, and people have to keep liking you. That's the only way you end up growing on this platform. And it's insane to me um, the number of people that have commented on the giveaway video and that have said, subbing for the giveaway, staying for the content. <laughs> like, it's not that many. But just to know that there are a few people that took the time to write that, not knowing how awesome that makes a person feel that they're going to stick around for the rest of their content and they're not just here for free stuff is crazy. It's beyond me. Just to think this started six months ago, a little over six months ago when I took a trip to New York. Seven months ago-ish. I keep upping it, but... <laughs> uh, I took a trip to New York. I was on vacation. And... Um, I hit up Joey, PokeMMD, two weeks before on his stream uh, and on his Twitter. And I said I wanted to meet him in person. I wanted a sub meet up. And he came to pick me up in his Subaru in Times Square. He's wearing my Drop a Draco sweater. And we took an hour-long car ride, and we just talked about stuff. Aeon Gaming at the time was just starting up. Um, a bunch of different things. Uh, competitive Pokemon. We had played a, a game earlier that week, actually. We played a game against each other in OU. He was using Stall on the ladder in his... Um, in his road to top 10, because he said he wanted to learn to play against it. He was using a Cursed Quagsire. This is beyond the point, but he was using a Cursed Quagsire, and uh, I, was, uh, I was impressed by it, and I, I brought it up during the conversation. Anyway, we went to go pick up Shizzy, and then he left me at a, 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 at a, a subway station. And, yeah, he, like I, the idiot that I am, I forgot to get a, a signature on my sweater, or anything for that matter, or a picture, or anything. I, I have no proof of that moment. But it doesn't matter. It's okay. I know it happened. He knows it happened. Um, I just made my cam shake. I'm sorry. But to think it all started there, and during that car ride, I asked him, what is your biggest advice with YouTube? And he said, be consistent. And if you go and look at Joey's channel right now, there are... Between 11 to 12, Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play videos out right now on his channel. 
And he is being consistent. He is doing exactly what he always has done. He doesn't care about LPs. He's Pokemon Showdown all the way. That's his main focus of his channel is I play Pokemon Showdown. I put out Pokemon Showdown lives. And I want to get into the competitive um, part of Sun and Moon as quickly as possible. So let's get this Let's Play over with. That's brilliant. It's amazing. And that is something that I cannot stress enough for anybody that wants to do this that wants to hit 500 subscribers, be it in six months, in a year, in two years, it doesn't matter. If you want to grow your channel, if you want to be a content creator for YouTube or for any other platform, be consistent and do what you love. Do what you would watch. Make videos that you're going to be able to click after they're uploaded and not want to stop watching. That is the only way to go about YouTube, in my opinion. You need to make content that you like. That is what I have done for the past six months. I have only made videos that I can... I, I've had a few faux pas, but I've only made v videos that I can look back at and be like, I really enjoy this. This is fun to watch, and this is educational. And I can look at my videos and see where I made my mistakes in my games, and it's just, it's fun. All of this has been so fun, and I cannot thank people from the NBA especially. Dom, Jose, Rob, even Jar, Eric, Colton, everybody. Everybody from the NBA especially. Thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. There's even some other people from the community. Ethan, Mentz, um, Drew. There's so many people survive who was just on the last video. Like, there's been so many people that have given me so much support and have given me a chance in this community. And especially Rob. Like, Rob wanted to do a, a soul link together. He allowed me to replace him in two huge leagues. He's been so awesome to me. Like, I can't... It's, it's part of the way, re reason I made you admin on the GOTT chat, man. It's because I can't say no to you. <laughs> you're too you're too awesome. But yeah, man, just like all the support I've gotten from everybody has been so, so, so phenomenal. And especially when I was ready to give up, guys, you probably don't know this, but I think I mentioned it once. About three and a half re weeks ago before my channel just randomly took off in subscribers, we got like 250 subs. I just want to let you know. We got like 250 subs in three and a half weeks. That I never thought would happen. Even if I reached 100,000, I never thought that would happen. That is such a short amount of time for so many people. Think about 250 people. Think about what that is. That is a church full of people. That is a, a small venue full of people. That's crazy to think about that that many people in three and a half weeks saw my content, subscribed, and a lot of them are sticking around, despite the fact that this is just a giveaway video. That's insane. And three and a half weeks ago, Showdown stopped working for me completely. I couldn't access it. It was the only website that I couldn't get on. It wasn't my firewall. It wasn't my ISP. It, my IP wasn't banned. At least I don't think so. And then that same day, I wanted to order my capture card to be able to LP Sun and Moon. The night before was available. The day of, sold out. So I couldn't do anything. I was stuck. I couldn't record Showdown. I had nothing to look forward to in Sun and Moon because I couldn't record it. And you know what? I think it ended up working out. Because Jose and Dom saved me with, uh, with regards to Showdown. They suggested that I plug in my phone and use it as a, uh, a hotspot for my PC. I was like, that's not going to work. And it worked. <laughs> and it got me access to Showdown again. And I was able to, to play my Week 10 Battle of the GPC. I was able to continue recording lives for you guys and for myself as well. And they, they saved me in that regard. And then I think the fact that the capture cards ended up being sold out worked out too because if you go back to Joey's 
situation, do I really want to spend a month and a half LPing a game when, one, I'm not that great at LPs, and two, it's not really the content that I want to put out? Am I really just going to do things for views? No, that's not me. That's not, uh, that's not why I started this. I started this so that I can make content that I would enjoy. Not content that the majority of everybody else's audiences would enjoy. That wasn't the point. So, I'm glad those capture cards ended up being sold out because I would have not only spent money on one and not been able to get the PC that I'm using right now, but... Also, I would have made content that I wouldn't have enjoyed. So I'm really, really glad that I get to play through the game on my own without having to upload it, without having that pressure on me. Comes back to a little bit of what Ethan said. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to hop on the bandwagon. Excuse me. He doesn't want to do things that everybody else is doing. I agree with that. You know what? Do you? You don't have to follow the trend. That's not how you grow a channel. I'm going to want to do Wi-Fi battles because they're fun. You have all the, the graphics and the animation within the battle. Uh, you get to play against people that otherwise don't really like using Showdown. Those things I'm going to do when I end up getting a capture card, for sure. But LPing the game, unless it's some kind of really cool Nuzlocke, like that was my initial idea with Pokemon Sun, was that I was just going to bust out a Nuzlocke day one. Like, going in blind, that's... That's actually pretty... It's not done very often. Not a lot of people open the box and start a Nuzlocke and have the potential of losing and not even getting the whole playthrough on their channel. That's ballsy. So I was ready to do that. And then I kind of strayed away from that and I was like, no, nah, I'm just going to play through the game normally. I don't really know what to do for a Nuzlocke. And I was kind of falling off. And like I said, it's a good thing that those capture cards ended up being sold out because I wouldn't have made something that I liked. So... I'm still here today, 503 subscribers strong, because of a lot of luck, because a lot of things fell into place, and Pokemon is a game of luck, YouTube is a game of luck, life is a game of luck, you can't avoid that, you're not going to get unlucky all the time though, if you keep trying at something, if you keep getting, trying to get better at something, and just trying different things, Eventually, you're going to be lucky with something. You can't be unlucky all the time. You can say you're an unlucky Pokemon player, but when have you not gotten a crucial crit or a crucial burn, crucial full para? Right, Jose? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Um, like, everybody gets lucky at some point. There's, there's somebody very close to me. You know who you are if you're watching this. Somebody very, very close to me just wants to stop playing Pokemon because he's unlucky right now. He's not doing well in the leagues that he's in. And I can understand that, absolutely. Wanting to, to give up and having that feeling. But going through with it is a different thing. And you shouldn't. And you should keep trying, keep persevering. Because eventually you will get lucky. Because you're not unlucky all the time. That's just how it is. People don't win multiple championships of, of leagues um, purely based on skill. Do you, you have to have some luck involved. Like, there are very, very talented players, probably a lot more than you or me or anybody watching this, but even they will not win everything. They can't. Just like there are people that are way better than you and me at YouTube and graphics and content and editing and everything that doesn't mean that they're going to end up on top. Never. That's not how things work. There are the very, very rare few exceptions. You look at people like PewDiePie that ended up on the top of YouTube. Now he's falling off from the kind of content that he always used to make. But if he's staying true to himself, who are we to speak? You know, like if Leafy is making content that he likes, if PewDiePie is making content that he likes, if Jenna Marbles is making content that she likes... Who are we to say anything about how they upload their upload schedules, their graphics, their thumbnails, their, uh, their editing, their anything? Who are we to speak? Do you. Do what you enjoy. 
All right, I'm done. Um, <laughs> I'm done with the motivational stuff. Uh, a couple of things. The um, the giveaway will be happening tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern. I have to siphon through all my comments to see who actually posted real links, uh, who properly entered the contest, and then I have to take their names and put them on a randomized list, kind of like we did for the um, for the divisions. And we're going to pick one random person, and that person is going to be uh, the winner of a copy of Pokemon Sun or Moon. I'm going to ask them to contact me directly. I'll get in contact with you over Twitter. I'll PM you, uh, DM, direct message on Twitter, and I'll ask you for your contact info, how to uh, get the game to you, whether it be through a post office box or a direct address. doesn't really matter. However you want to receive it, it's up to you. And yeah. That's it. Like, that's that's it for the giveaway. It's gonna be out tomorrow, guys. So get hyped. If you're hyped, leave a like. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was um, at 250 subscribers, I was going to do something for the channel, and it just took off so quickly after that point that I never got a chance to actually record it, and I was kind of stuck in that loop of n capture card not being available, showdown not being available. There was a lot of things that I couldn't do. So I was kind of demotivated at the time, so I didn't end up doing it. But now that we've reached 500, I'm going to do it. I told Jose about this already, but I want to do a Q&A. I've never actually done one of these for the channel, but I want you guys to ask me anything. Literally ask me anything. In the comment section down below, in Twitter, uh, in Twitter on Twitter, uh, my link is in the description below this video. Um, to my Twitter account, so you can ask me anything on there. You can ask me anything uh, in the comment section down below. Use the uh, the hashtag #AskAster so that I can find your tweet extremely easily, um, or your your post in the comments. I can find all of them that way. hashtag A S K A S T E R hashtag #AskAster, and I'm gonna try to answer as many as humanly possible. If it's something extremely personal, I might be vague about it or not answer it at all. So try to keep it general as much as possible. Um, but I will try to answer as many of your questions as I can. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I want to see what you guys uh, want to know. It's, uh, it's really cool. I think getting involved with my, my subscribers that way and really uh, getting to know you guys and you guys getting to know me is fun. So that's that. Um, that's the giveaway, that's the Q&A, and that's me just rambling on about YouTube and this amazing journey that has been the past six months or seven months. I've lost count at this point, <laughs> but honestly, it doesn't matter how much time it takes. I just want to entertain as many people as possible. Uh, I want to make people feel good about themselves. I want to uh, make people better at the game, educate them um, if I can, if my videos are able to do that. Uh, and I, I just want to be, I want to be everybody's friend, man. I want, I want, I want you guys to be my friends. That's, you guys are not my, my followers or my, my slaves or my, my subscribers. You're my friends. You're people that a lot of you are that I speak to directly on a daily basis. But even if I don't speak to you all the time, you guys are all my friends. And every time you comment, every time you leave a like, every time you uh, share my video on Twitter, every time you uh, even you just click the video because you you like the way the thumbnail looks. You're supporting me, and I can't thank you enough for that. That makes you my friend. <laughs> you guys are all my friends, all 503 of you. Even Eric's fake accounts <laughs> or second accounts, you're all my friends. I know Eric subbed like three times through, th through three different YouTube accounts. Just so you guys know as well, I said that I had to hit 500 subscribers to do the giveaway. I was going to do it at 490 anyway, if we hit that, because I thought it was really unfair if we got to 490, and all 400, uh, 405 people that subscribed from the moment the video came out would have just been left there with nothing, so I was going to do it as of 490, but we blew past it. That's crazy. And I've hardly had to do anything with that video. Honestly, I've mentioned it a couple of times in some chats, very rarely, um, and it's mostly just gained steam on its own. Like, if you go look at the video, I think it's at 1,800 views. 
A thousand eight hundred views. Like what? <laughs> that's that's like eighteen times more than any of my other videos. Than my most viewed video. Second to that. So that's that's crazy. That is insane. That it it hit that many views from the title, the tags, the uh, the length of the video. I guess people just wanted to watch it. So you get a good idea sometimes, and like I said, you got to be lucky. And up until now, I couldn't have asked for better. Honestly, between the UPA, the PWM, the NBA, everything, I could not have asked to be luckier up until now. So thank you guys again so much, all of you who have subscribed up until now, who will subscribe after seeing this video or any video after this, to anybody who clicks the like button, to anybody who hits me up in the comment section, who follows me on Twitter, who follows me on Facebook, everybody, just thank you all so, so much, and I'm really looking forward to where this channel is going to go, and uh, just remember that you guys were always the first 500, no matter what happens, <laughs> as corny as that sounds, <laughs> that's where I'm going to leave it off, guys, thank you again so much, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.